Hey y'all, it's your Michaela Janae here, back with another video. And for today's Maja Speaks, I'm just gonna be talking to y'all if that's all right. I'm just gonna be telling y'all a little revelation that I got in my own life. I feel like a good way to motivate people is to share your story and share where you at and share the things that you get from God. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Your girl cut her hair, if y'all didn't know, more hair videos coming soon. New color coming soon but i recut it so you girls back looking snatched i got a relaxer oh that's not the point of this video though i feel like i'm so close to the camera but you know recently i was watching the transformation church sermon i think the sermon in there they were talking about you know god giving us tests and how we have to go through the test i had to realize that sometimes passing a test is not you know getting what you want out of a situation and let me break that down a little bit. You guys have heard me talk about me running for prom court and homecoming court not winning. Me taking my ACT again because I felt that's what God wanted me to do. I had to do it. I had to go out of my comfort zone to do those things. Run for court. You know, put myself out there. Get that experience. But I didn't win. And I did not get the score on the ACT that I wanted to. But I did exactly what God asked me to do. I followed his instruction. Although I didn't get what I thought I wanted out of it. I passed my test because I followed his instruction. Do you get that? Because I felt like this was my first time getting that. When a lot of Christians talk about God is going to test you. And you just have to pass the test. A lot of us, especially us millennials, can get confused. And think that passing a test means that the outcome is going to be what you think it's going to be and that you're going to be successful and that is going to equal a win for you. I had to realize that that's not always the case and that wasn't true in in those situations. Now many a times it is true and you take a test and on the other side of it you get the blessing on the other end of it quickly or you hear from God clearly about the situations but in all those situations when I was in it I didn't understand why I had to put myself out there just to not win not to make court. I didn't understand why I had to go out of my comfort zone. When I was taking that ACT test it it was at another school I was like I really don't want to go over here like I don't know why it was such a big deal but when you're comfortable you're comfortable so I was like I don't want to go over here but God was telling me okay you need to go to this school to take it go take this test one more time but I did not get the grade I thought I'd get I actually I think I ended up getting the exact same thing as I was making the rest of the times for all of those instances I was so confused as to why I had to go through that or what was that for and guess what <laughs> I still don't know. God doesn't work like that. He just fills you in on the things that you need to know. God really has us on a need to know basis. And the faster we all come to terms with that, the easier life will get. But he just gave me this little piece because it's not something I think about. I let it go. I stop thinking about it because I know that no good thing will God withhold from me. So if I deserved or if I needed that high ACT score, I would have got it. I just knew that I did it for a reason. It is settling to know that God uses all of our experiences to prepare us for our blessing and what we're going to be in the future. So I'm just like, wow. So those things, I realized that they're preparing me for something that's gonna come later. And you have to really realize what connects all of your experiences, what connects all of the tests that God's pushed you through. I had to put myself out there. I was getting out of my comfort zones. I was being more outgoing and open with the people around me in all of those situations. I had to be uncomfortable to elevate. So I feel like now I'm really in a season of elevation. I'm in a season of living my best life. But just to go back and think about the things that happened, the things I've been through, I just wanted to come and share that with y'all because so many of the times we feel like we're listening to God and then it doesn't work out the way we want it to so we feel like we did it for no reason. Everything happens for a reason and I'm a firm believer in that and I want you to know that God is orchestrating things at all times. He's making everything come together for our good. So it's really important to remember that. It's important to remember that you need to take your tests, okay? Like even though it may look hard, even though you don't know the outcome of it, you have to take it. And after you take it just because the grade you get isn't pretty doesn't mean that the test wasn't purposeful you needed to learn what was on there you needed to experience it sometimes you need to experience taking a loss 
to humble yourself sometimes there's always something you can learn from every situation so chalk everything up to a lesson and that is the point of this video realize when you are being taught a lesson take every lesson you're never taking a loss everything's a lesson i want to share this little message my little revelation with you guys on this nice monday please subscribe if you haven't already share this video with someone who needs it i'm gonna highlight you guys in my next video